Well, howdy, folks. My name's Charlie, and welcome to Farm Manager 2021. A special thanks to Playway for sending me out a copy of the game. I uh, I first saw this and kind of went, all right, it's another farming game, whatever. But it's not like Farming Sim, all right? It's not like a first-person, you know, manager on tractors and stuff. That can get, for people like me anyway, that can get a little boring. But this one... This one might get me into into farming. I don't I know nothing about farming, but this one actually might get me educated a little bit on what it takes. And there's actually a lot to it. This is more of a of, of builder logistics. Y you know what? It's it's just a lot on the lines of everything else we play on this channel for the most part. Let's get into it. Now, I, I was gonna do the campaign, but it's actually kind of handholdy. And uh, I want a little bit more freedom to kind of explore things a little bit on my own. So I'm going to show you guys the game today in free mode. Uh, but if you if you would like to check out the game yourselves, of course, uh, the link is in the description down below. You can also let me know what you think of it. Maybe we play it more than one video. I don't know. So how does this work? Well, you get the bird's eye view and you get your land and you can kind of sort things out yourself. We're in kind of all sandboxy mode now, right? We are looking at a million dollars to start. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's not a lot at all. We're going to have to budget our money a little bit here. So uh, we can kind of go down several different routes. If I go into building, you can see that there's lots of different types of stuff. There's beekeeping. There's chicken coops. You can go into fish farming. You can go into cows and goats. And you can be a dairy farmer. You can run an apple orchard. You can... I don't know, you can grow a whole bunch of wheat, make bread, I don't know, make bread. Whatever you want to do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. For this, uh, I'm going to show you guys kind of a basic setup for dairy farming. We're going to start things off with dairy farming, and it's a pretty expensive setup. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our road tool. And I'm going to go gravel roads just to keep things real cheap. And I think I'm going to start over here. And we're going to go... Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll start like maybe here let's say and I'm gonna come down about let's say that far all right 1200 bucks on a road nice We're off to a great start so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, the basic starter buildings that we need to get going on a dairy farm okay there's actually a lot of things that it get for people like me who know nothing about farming there's actually quite a lot to it so first thing I want is a small cow shed and I'm actually gonna go and make two of these probably want four of them eventually if i can afford it we'll, we'll go with four i think we'll start things off though with two and i'm going to put them on this side of the road right next to each other like so okay so that takes care of our initial cow stuff next let's take a look at uh well actually you know what we're gonna need employees first yeah this is a big operation you can't just do this with one guy it's gonna be a lot of people so we have houses for permanent employees, people who work year round. They're, they, we have provide a place for them to live. Uh, and uh, then we have seasonal employees and stuff. These are, you know, obviously they can live there uh, while they're here, right? So the seasonal employee ones, there's 12 beds and then these ones have eight. So we can hire eight employees on this house. And there's an area of effect. So they'll only travel so far from where they live to, you know, their daily tasks and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put the farm, I'm gonna put this house right on the edge just so we cover that corner basically so that they will do everything in this area. So how about right about, yeah, right about here ought to be fine, I think. That little extra corner over there, I don't think I'm gonna regret that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna regret that. Uh, I might, no, nope, not gonna regret it right there. I'll do it there. All right, so that's gonna set us up with employees, all right? So the next thing we need is well, we have to think about food, right? We have cows, we have to be able to feed them and stuff. Initially, we're gonna need to buy the food. And I'm actually gonna start by buying food, but before I can do that, I need a place to store it. So let's go ahead and get our barn and our warehouse and all that kind of stuff set up. I think first I'll start with a warehouse. You know, actually I'll start with a barn and a warehouse, fine. Uh, so if I'm gonna do four of these pens, I'm probably gonna want the other two right here. So let's move up a little bit. And how about we go over about this far and I say that my, let's say that my warehouse is here. And then next I'm gonna put the barn in and the barn is gonna be right next to this thing. And I could go one over, I could. It gives me flexibility in putting a road between these if I want to later, but I don't think I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna do it anyway, all right. So let's put the barn in there and then we're gonna need a road that takes them 
uh, that goes all the way to them like that. All right, next, cows will poop. We know that cows will poop. Cows always poop. Here's manure storage. And we can store manure in your stuff too. So eventually we're gonna wanna do organic stuff. And I think like we'll wanna farm our own organic sourcing of food so that we can feed our, we can have our livestock all fed with organic ingredients. And then that way all of our ingredients that we produce and ship to stores will also be organic. We can get a lot more money for that kind of stuff. Having our own manure storage is a great way to start collecting that up. So I think I'm gonna put the manure storage right next to the cow pens, honestly probably just put it right here next to the cow pens. All right, next thing is, uh, well, let's see, we got where they live, we got the cows, they're gonna make milk, uh, we got manure, we need food for them, right? And that's, part of it is gonna be stored in this barn and the warehouses and stuff, but part of this is also something called silage. So we want grass and that's good, but we also need silage, it's like, Basically this really, uh, if you're not familiar with farming and stuff, and I'm sure people who are farmers will cringe at my definition of silage, but basically it's when you take grass or any other type of green, you know, matter, I suppose, uh, and you compress it real tightly into like it's airtight, air sealed sort of container, kind of like in silos, that's kind of where it gets its name. And uh, typically that stuff is used as food for your livestock, especially in like colder climates and stuff uh, in the winter and everything. So anyway, all these buildings are also gonna need power. So we're gonna set up the silage stuff, but I also wanna figure out where my power is gonna be situated. So I think actually this little gap I've left could be a good spot for this. Just can't quite get that building though, darn. All right, we'll set this up right next to here then. Maybe right next to it like this. All right, and then we'll run this to here, okay. That's gonna connect these up to power, and then this also needs power as well. We have these transformers, and you have to have everything in range of power, basically. So uh, I'm gonna put another transformer, I think, right here, just to kind of cover this area. Hmm. I'm tempted to put it across the road, but I want my crops and stuff over there later. It's not really that big of a deal. These are not that expensive. So I guess we'll go ahead and put them like right here. There. So we'll have power to all this stuff, right? So there we go. Now we're gonna have storage for all the food and everything. We're gonna wanna hire employees, but before we get going on that too, I want a really awesome dairy production. And that means very expensive, okay? So what I'm gonna do, first I want to be able to make silage. So this is our storage for it. And we're gonna want to set up our uh, places where we make it. And I think we're gonna go could technically go right here with it, but maybe we'll go right next to this. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm gonna go right next to this. So we'll we'll say this this road right here is gonna run straight. We'll go like that with it, right? And then the storage for silage is gonna be here. You don't let me do that. Ooh, you might let me do that. Yeah, it, it adjusts it adjusts the uh, where that's located. Nice. Um, I think maybe one just for now, but I might need more silage in the future. Once I start getting more cows and I start moving into like goats and things like that, I'm gonna want more silage at that point. All right, so we've got all these different buildings. And now that I've got the barn, I can go ahead and order food. So let's take a look at the, the down here, okay? This area down here. This is our market tab. We're gonna be spending a little bit of time in here in the beginning, because we're gonna be buying ingredients and selling stuff. This is how you make your money as well. So the first thing I want to do is I want to buy the initial food I'm going to need for my cows. So let's look at cereal. And we have organic grass and we have grass, right? Now the regular grass, the regular grass is going to cost me 0.33 money. I don't exactly know what currency that is, but 0.33 per kilogram. The organic stuff is going to run me 0.49 per kilogram. So a little bit more expensive, but if we focus on organic, We'll also make more money with it too. So I'm gonna to try to focus on organic for now. That's gonna limit how much facilities I can have in the beginning, but I think as we snowball it up, it will end up being significantly more profitable to be set up with organic right from the get-go if possible. So grass, organic. And I'm actually gonna order, let's say, how about 3,000 units of that? So that's gonna run me a little bit of money, but 
it's gonna give us enough food for our cows for a little while. So let's order some organic grass. Okay, next we need all of our animals, right? And we need employees. So uh, first, we're gonna go ahead and order the cows. Here's our animals. And each of these buildings are gonna need to also have an employee assigned to them. So actually we can go ahead and do that first, I suppose. We'll click on our building here and we have zero out of eight workers. Let's go ahead and hire. Now, each of the people that are eligible to get hired, some of them have special skills. Um, some of them have, you know, they're better at certain things than others, right? So for example, this person, Daisy Collins, she's got a little bit of planting experience, but she's really good at manufacturing stuff. That's gonna be something that we need later. I'm gonna hire her. Um, we want people who are great with animals though. So let me take a look and we, okay. So Violet's good with animals. We're gonna hire her. And I, th most of these guys are just all orchards, which is a little unfortunate. I do think we get different people periodically. It starts offering us different people a lot. Um, but in the early bit here, I don't really have a whole lot to choose from right now. So I'm gonna go with, I think probably people who, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go with their salary and make sure that they're, you know, charging me less per month. So this person's good at manufacturing and charges me less. This person's charging me less too. So we'll go with these four people for now. All right. So these four people, we're going to have one person assigned here. And this person's great with animals. So we'll go ahead and assign her. We're going to have another person assigned here. And we'll just say Daniel can go here. Okay. Then we want to put cows in these pens. So first we have to order the, our steers, right? We have to order our cows. So there's this. We have one for 2,600. We're going to buy four of them. So four, four per pen is the max we can go here. Same thing here. We can also go with deer if we'd like to as well, but we're going to stick with cows because that's our, that's our dairy, far dairy farming, right? Okay, so there's that. We've ordered them. We got uh, staff assigned to them. Next, I want to go ahead and make sure that we are um, getting some silage stuff too. So we're going to have another person. Um, let's say Daisy, I suppose. We're going to assign her to here. And we want to make sure we tick all of the organic boxes. So for this production right now, where we're taking straw and turning it into silage. I want to change this to be organic grass into organic silage. Okay. So we have to put the right recipe in. Same thing with the cows. What are we feeding them? Well, we're going to feed them grass to start with until we start getting silage built up, and then we can switch it to grass and silage. However, we're going to want to make sure we tick organic food so that we make sure that we're feeding them only organic food. We want to keep our stuff as organic as possible for the maximizing for maximizing profit, okay? Next thing, what are we going to do with the milk, right? Because we're dairy farming. We're going to be having lots of cows to milk. And we got to do something with that milk if we want to make more profits. Well, we're going to buy this really expensive building called a milk plot processing plant. It's $340,000. It's expensive as hell. We're going to buy it right away. I'm not even going to build up to it. I'm going to buy it right now. So I'm going to put it in here. And I, I was kind of thinking I'd put two buildings next to each other. But now I've, I see that I've made my road a little bit too close to the edge of the map. Unfortunately, I won't be able to put them right next to each other. Um, another idea could be just going one on each side of the road, but I had other plans for this space and I may have to, I may have to abandon those plans. Uh, we will see. I'm wondering if I can get away with, nah, I really don't want to put it in the back. Maybe I can put it right here next to this. No, I had other plans for that space. Let's start off with one milk. For now, one one milk processing plant for now. We'll put it right at the edge of the map. Okay, so we have all the basic stuff set up, right? Now we just need, it looks like uh, our food is not here. Oh, I need to actually select it, my bad. All right, I select organic, but I didn't actually select what I wanted to feed them. So now we have the grass delivered, right? 2,600 units of grass. And they're gonna go ahead and bring that grass over to these cows so that they can be fed, right? And then the cows will produce milk and we'll send that over into the milk processing plant so that it can be processed into other, other goods, goods that are worth a lot more stuff. Things like cheese and butter, right? And we're gonna be making organic products. So we're hopefully gonna be able to earn more money from it. Now, there's one other thing we can build and I don't know about building it yet. Actually, hang on. There's 
this building doesn't have power. We'll put the power uh, there. We'll just connect it up to that one. So this building doesn't have power. We're gonna assign, we're gonna go ahead and assign our remaining worker, Madison, to here. And I may actually wanna hire one more person who's good at manufacturing really quick. Uh, Aaron is a great candidate for that. Uh, you can see your machines. Yeah, you're charging me less though. I know you're not as good at it, but that's okay. You're you're charging me less money and I'm all right with that. So I'm gonna hire at least two people inside the uh, milk processing plant. Then I'm gonna change my production. Right now we're making cow's milk, right? But we want organic milk, right? So we're gonna change to the organic milk and I'd like to turn it into organic yellow cheese, okay? Now you can see sort of an estimated how much you can possibly produce and how much you might get for this. And you can see the differences in how much that stuff costs. If we're taking 250 cow's milk and turning it into 115 yellow cow cheese, we can make an estimated about 68,000, oh, sorry, not estimated, a maximum, a maximum production of 68,805, we'll go with dollars because it's easier for me to say, per month, okay? But the organic variant makes like a lot more than that. Like it's not quite double, but it makes more money than that, right? So as long as we can keep our entire chain organic, we should be all right. So I'm gonna change this to organic milk. And we're gonna see if we can't pull that off. So we wanna, we wanna be producing organic milk and we are. So you can see that right there, we are producing it. And this one here as well. So we are so far keeping everything organic and we like that. Silage wise, we're getting more silage, very good. And we want to start incorporating that into their food right away. Because if we have them have low quality food, they're more susceptible to getting sick, they're being unhappy, they won't produce as much milk, etc. So I'm gonna switch their food to incorporating both of those things right now. And you can see that the chosen food quality I have is gonna substantially increase the quality of the food that the cows have. They're gonna be a lot more happy with this food over what they currently have. And we're keeping it all organic as much as possible here. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do, I, I would actually really like to see this part, uh, this thing get built and, and start working as fast as possible. But right now, pretty much everybody has to haul it over here. And that's no good. You don't want people having to manually haul things around. So we'd need a, a way to move things around a lot faster. In comes logistics. Yes, the logistics building gives your staff access to delivery trucks for faster resource movement between buildings. This is a little bit of a, it's in a little bit of an expense in the beginning for sure, but it's worth it in the end. So I'm gonna take my logistics building and I think, honestly, I'm tempted to put it in the middle. I really wanted to do something different with this space, but I may have to just suck it up and do something different with it. Do it in a different spot. I think I'm gonna have to just do it in a different spot than I planned. So I'm gonna take my logistics truck and actually, I'm thinking of putting it on this road, like right here, just off the road kind of thing. But if I do it on this road, then they can help later on with other things too. So, all right, let's put it right here. So this is our logistics building. And we'll start seeing trucks and stuff move through here, as long as I have some free employees too. So I'm gonna hire a couple more people. Let's, let's do Mally, cause she has great endurance and she doesn't charge me that much. And, oh, more animals people, Lucy's in here. Um, she doesn't have any, she's got it there as a focus, but she doesn't have any skill in it yet. But I'm gonna hire Lucy anyway. And then I'm gonna swap out the one that didn't have all that. Yeah, you're in plants focus. I'm going to relocate you to, oh, not that, nope, not that. Uh, I want you, Daniel, I want you out of there. I'm gonna replace you with Lucy, okay. And then Daniel can come over here and work for, actually, we can probably just have Daniel not work this building and then he can work in logistics if he wants to. Okay, so we have logistics building all set up now. And when there's a need for some product to be transported to other places, we'll start seeing white delivery trucks leave the building and start moving things around, which is gonna be nice for us. So right now you can see that we're producing cow's milk organic and we're turning it into yellow cow cheese. Good. So how do we make money in this game, Charlie? Good question. So we're gonna go to the market and we're gonna hit sell. 
And eventually, once this starts producing, we're gonna see that organic cow cheese is gonna pop over here. And then we'll be able to sell that, that cheese, right? We just have to, of course, get it moving around. And if our employees are tired or they're trying to recuperate their energy or whatever, and they're not staying in the building, that makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, so we're gonna want more people because they do take breaks, but also it doesn't look like we're necessarily making product fast enough. Mm, it doesn't look like it. It's stalled right now. So we may not be making it fast enough because organic does take a little bit more. I think we're, well, we did just get the logistics up too. So it might take a little bit to get things moving. I would like to see that pop pretty soon though. Why don't we get an extra person assigned to this? And then I think to help that process along even further, now that we have some silage getting built up, not very fast, but now that we have some of it getting built up, I think it's time we expand our, maybe one more cow pen I think might work. Um, so let me get one more cow shed. We'll put it closer here like this. And we'll get some additional cows and they can hopefully give us even more milk. Cause we're not actually producing enough milk at the moment. So I think it'll probably be with organic. It looks like it might be three of these guys for one of these guys, but there we go. We're about to pop that cheese out and there we go. So we've, we've generated some cheese. So let's take a look at the market price. Oh, it's not here to, it's not here to sell. Maybe it needs to be moved. I think it probably needs to be moved log with logistics. It needs to be moved to the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that we have it, can we do it? There it goes. Okay, so I might want to speed up the path to the warehouse. And this was uh, this was one of my concerns about putting the warehouse like this. But uh, I can probably f wiggle a path in here to make it even shorter. That's not that far away, though, honestly. It's, it's not that big of a deal. But if I really wanted to make it a little bit easier, I guess I could always go something like this. And then that would make it a little bit quicker to get there, I suppose. All right, so let's assign, uh, I want I want one more animal-centric employee, to be honest. So that's this, this guy right here, Oscar. Mm, Elliot's pretty good. Elliot's good with animals. Let's hire Elliot, and we'll get Elliot assigned here. And uh, then we need the cows brought in, so we'll go ahead and bring the cows home. Make sure we use organic food and let that go. So we should be able to produce even more food now. Sorry, milk, even more milk now. And when we start seeing our milk in storage, right? When we start seeing this like build up a little bit, right? Like right now you can see we're not actually producing enough. That's that's what we're working on right now. But when we start seeing, you know, we have a thousand milk in storage or 2000 milk in storage or whatever, we're gonna drop a second milk processing plant. Right now, these, these again, these are 340,000 a piece. They're incredibly pricey. So we, we want to make sure we need two of them. And uh, that's what hopefully these extra cows are going to do for us. Uh, so I may, I may have enough to actually start one more. Speaking of which though, I think we're probably running low on food. Uh, no, we still have 1479 grass left. That's interesting. I might want to order a little bit more grass though. Now, it is significantly cheaper to produce your own grass on an ongoing basis. And it looks like the price has gone up. Whoops. Hey, it happens, prices fluctuate. Um, let's buy a thousand more. Just to give ourselves a little bit more of a cushion there. And this is what we want to see. We want to see the amount of milk we have in the warehouse get to a point where it immediately starts the next run and we never run out and there you go so now we're producing enough milk to keep this production going all the time right this number is never going to come all the way down to zero again so at this point we could start looking at what would it look like to get a second one of these milk processing plants and i just want to see how it how it goes here 300 should see it Tick up a little bit here. Any minute now, I wanna see that thing jump. Those white trucks are moving all around, man. All right, so there there the milk just popped. So then, then they have to move it. They have to move it where it needs to go now. But again, our employees are getting tired 
and they have to rest. So just because I have them assigned doesn't mean they're going to do it, which is why you usually need more employees than are working all the time. So I think we're going to need another house. And I'm just going to put that right next to the other house. Uh, I leave a little gap. Eh, nah. I mean, this is a farmland. I feel like you don't need to cram everything close together, right? It's farmland. Uh, you know what? We might need to make more silage, though. Uh, we're at 150? Now we're at 50. So I think with this extra pen, we might need to make more. I'm going to put in one more of these silos, or one more of these storage right here. I think we'll, yeah, they have to have a space between them like this. So we'll go like that with it. And let's get a few more people hired. We want animal people, yes, but we also want manufacturing people. That's great. And let's get at least, oh, good endurance. Not that bad on the price. And I think that's probably good-ish for now. Those three extra guys. We'll put the purely endurance person right here. And then we want to change this to be organic grass to silage. Okay. And then we probably need to order a lot more grass. So let's just let's just order a bunch because we're not going to be able to um, we're not going to be able to produce this on our own for quite a little while. So how about four thousand should be all right for now, just to kind of get it in here. Now, why do I say I can't produce it on myself for a little while? Well, if I want to have a second one of these, it's going to take an enormous amount of money. And you can see we're already at 1,000 built up here. So I think that's a good signal. So why don't we go ahead and start one more cow shed here. And then I want to build another uh, milk processing plant right across the road. I was going to put it somewhere else, but now that I've... I, w I wanted to put it right next to it, but now that I'm in this situation, I guess we'll put it across the road. So... The milk will be right there. Okay. Now I've sucked down a lot of my money here. This is seventy-four thousand dollars left. That's all I got left, right? And that's a, that's the reason why I wanted to make sure that I needed it. But now that I'm producing a lot more milk, this makes sense. So we have this. We're gonna assign an animal worker. Sounds good, Caleb. And we're gonna want to get the cows, bring them in, and make sure we're using organic food. Everybody should have organic food. Yep. Okay. Good. We have 4,900 units of grass. Very nice. Okay. So that's that's it. That's our that's our system here. All right. This is our our cool, super cool organic uh, dairy farm. Right. And we're producing some yellow cheese. We can produce something else with the other building if we like, maybe some butter or something even. You know. So we can go ahead and get two people at least assigned here. We'll leave one unattended just so they can uh, kind of move around with logistics potentially. Although I think most of them, actually, I think they also use it. Yeah, I don't think it's the unassigned people that that use the logistics. I think it's just regular employees use the trucks. So we could actually go ahead and just make sure everybody's assigned. Okay, so pause it really quick. This dairy farm, or sorry, this milk processing plant we are not going to use regular milk, right? We're using organic. And I would like to make butter with this. So, I mean, cheese still makes us more money. So I probably should just keep doing the yellow cheese. But you can see if we can get into like goats and sheep and stuff, we can start making a lot more money, right? So I think for the time being, just for it to be easy, I'm going to have everything making yellow cheese because it's easier. It's a good value for us right now. We're making a lot of the same thing. But if the price fluctuates and it drops right back down, then I need to be able to switch it up. Speaking of price fluctuations, we are now now we only have 41,000, right? So how do we make money? I didn't sell anything yet. Go to market, sell, and you can see right now we have 805 kilograms of yellow cheese. That's worth $24,000. We're just going to hit sell. So right away, we've made a bunch of money. That's our first big sell of our yellow cheese. And like, like I said before, it's a lot cheaper to grow your own grass than it is to constantly buy the feed. Because right now, our ongoing costs for our factory are basically power. I believe we're paying for power. 
I thought we were paying for power. I actually don't remember that. Uh, we have the upkeep for the building itself. This is 1200 monthly, but it's, it's mostly a lot of fixed costs right now, right? We have a lot of fixed costs and those fixed costs are basically labor, which is a huge percentage of our cost, and also just the upkeep for those buildings. But we also have to constantly buy food. And then we also have some other variable expenses that might happen. Like for example, our cows might get sick. So we might have to adjust for that, right? And I think what I'd like to do is, first off, let's, let's make sure that we're still producing enough cow's milk. It's possible that we're not at this point because two of these guys rocking. I mean, we saw it. I think it took three of these to make one work. So having four for two probably isn't enough. However, if we wanted to start getting into some of those other products, like for example, if I wanted to start working on sheep cheese, organic sheep cheese, then I can just get some sheep farming going, right? So while I have 66 grand, let's see if we can maybe get some sheep. Uh, so this little bar here is really small, but this small shed is good for breeding goats and sheep. So I can grab a couple of these if I want to, and I can either put them on this side. I could actually put them all along the side here. That'd be pretty cool. It would look neat. It would look neat and clean, right? I just went like this, three of them. I'm going to leave a little... It, yeah, I'll leave a little space there. Like I said, farms, they tend to have open space, man. They don't cram everything together. And I'm all right with doing it this way. Uh, we'll start with two for now. I don't want to go too overboard here. Although having three means we can then have one of these dedicated to the sheep stuff. So actually, maybe that's the better way to do it. I just have to make sure that I have enough money to support that. So we'll buy another one. And then I want to get the road put in, so we'll go like that with the road. And then we also need to make sure we're hooked up to power. So we'll take this transformer and see, we got all this space. We can put the transformers in there. That's how we do it. All right, good. So now this is all going to be hooked up to power. So the next thing is we got to assign workers. We don't have enough workers, so let's get some more people that know animals. And nobody does. Well, okay, Skyla does, so we'll hire her at least. And then I like endurance people quite a bit because they can work longer without needing to take breaks. Uh, so we'll hire Paige as well. Okay, so you guys are going to be in here, okay? Now we need sheep. Sheep. <laughs> so let's buy the sheep. And I think we'll start with... We want to do organic food, right? We'll start with grass, but it looks like we're also going to need crops or wheat or soya or peas. Okay, so they don't take the silage, right? So we're going to need to look at you know, how much food, what kinds of food does these different animals take, right? So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get five sheep in here. We could do goats too, but I, I think we'll focus on one animal type for now. And uh, let's start them off with just the organic grass. We're also going to need crops, organic crops. So let's take a look at what does that cost to um, to buy really quick. Is it in the cereals? It looks like it is down here. Okay. So we're going to want to buy a bunch of this. It's not that it's not that pricey. Let's buy like 5,000 units of that for now. We have just actually we don't have enough money for that. Not yet. But um, how about this? We'll order 4,000. We can buy that and then we can sell our cheese that we have. We have $27,000 worth of cheese to sell. Oh yeah. We can also sell the manure because we're not using it right now. We'll use it later, but we're not using it yet. Uh, and actually knowing that we're gonna use it later, I kind of want to hold off it on that. So let's just keep storing it for now. Put an extra person on this and then we'll buy five more sheep for this and tell them to use organic food. Okay. So we're starting that off. And actually, once we get the crops, uh, once we get the, yeah, the crops delivered should be in the barn. Once I, once I see this go up, then I can switch their food to use crops too. But now we'll have sheep stuff happening, huh? So we're going to get, uh, I don't know why sheep cheese is so good. <laughs> Apparently it is. I have no idea why. 
Yeah, some bio stuff there. Okay, good. We're ready to go. And then crops are delivered. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch all of them to that. And now they're going to be very happy with their food. At least happy-ish with their food, okay? And now if I want to, it looks like we're doing pretty good with the cow's milk, though. We're holding it up. We're doing a good job here. We're not running out. Might have to save up to get a third one of these suckers, huh? But I do want to start farming land, right? I want to start growing my own crops and stuff too. The reason why I haven't started doing that is because in order to get that done, it takes a lot of investment in gear. You need like a lot of tractor stuff. You need, like tractor stuff. Oh, farmers are cringing now. You, you just need a lot of equipment, okay? And I'll show you what that is. There is a ton of different equipment in this game. And it depends on what you're really looking for in terms of like what you want to farm determines what kind of equipment you need because the same stuff doesn't work for every kind of crop. And so depending on what you're growing, you need a whole bunch of different stuff, different plows, planters, mowers, all sorts of things. And we can read the description on each of these things so we can learn what they are together. Um, some of this equipment, you can purchase it used. Um, so you might find a used thing in some third, you know, some aftermarket store. Maybe you're looking on Craigslist or something, right? And it's not in really great shape, but it's way cheaper and you might choose to buy that instead. Um, and then you'll have to repair it and stuff and it might break down on you more often. It's not in great shape or you can buy them brand new. Some things you can't buy used. Um, typically those are the tractors. You can't buy them used. You have to buy them brand new. But the other thing you can do with equipment is you can lease it. So if you don't want to buy it outright, you can choose to lease it. I would probably, I, I would like to go ahead and just buy them outright. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the game, though. Oh, we have, oh, one of our animals is sick. We're going to call the vet. Call the vet before it dies. We have a sickly sheep. Oh, no, the sickly sheeps. Sheeps? That's not it. That's not how it works. A pl the plural of sheep is sheep, okay? Uh, the vet The vet came. Dr. Pole came in and took care of it. Fun story. Dr. Pole, uh, if you've ever seen the show, right? I don't know if you saw, saw on the show. Uh, Dr. Pole is from the same county I grew up in. Uh, so, like, that show, like, I know all that whole area, man. <laughs> it's there. Uh, yeah. We've seen, it. We've seen the guy before. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, this is a preview of Farm Simulator 2021. And uh, if you're interested in uh, continuing, maybe that's something you're interested in. And if it is, uh, you can let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear it. We can explore the game even more. We can start getting into farming equipment and stuff up here. Uh, I can let it run just a little while because we're super profitable with this right now. So we can let this run a little while until I get maybe 100 grand and then I can start farming my own grass. Then I don't have to buy it anymore. Then we can start looking at maybe farming our own, let's say, wheat and we can start feeding that to our sheep or we can start sending it to the mill or anything other like that. Um, we can start really driving home and, and farming our own ingredients. And then once we do that, we can expand the number of animals we have because we can, su we can support feeding them, right? Because ultimately the animals right now anyway, oh, hang on. The animals right now are what is driving our money. So all we are doing is spending money to feed them. So if we can grow our own crops, to feed them, we can expand to have even more and it costs us way less to feed them, right? That's the idea. And then we can also do other things like opening up apple orchards and all sorts of different types of crops. Uh, I'll go really quick and just make a field just so you can kind of see what it is before the end of the video. Um, of course, I want to do that in a place where I actually want to grow things. So uh, why don't we do it? I'll start it right here, I guess. We'll make a big field right here. And we'll say that this big field is where we would ultimately want to grow our own grass, we'll say. So um, if I wanted to go that big with it. Uh, actually, you know, if I go smaller with it, then I can do two crops next to each other and then have that road right there line up as it goes up. So if I said this one right here, right, is let's say 64 meters, right? So 64 meters, I would want to go over here to 32 meters and I could go up as high as that. So let's say that's a crop. Then theoretically, this would be the exact same size. 
Uh, it is not. No, it's 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 not. I'd have this is, but then the road doesn't line up. But yeah, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, I can always delete this too. But I want to show you how the crop system works. So here's your field. You had to pay to make this, and then you choose what you want to grow. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can grow here. You can switch it to bio, or you can switch it to organic, right? And then you have all of these types of things here. If you switch it to organic, then you won't use the chemical fertilizers and stuff. You won't use the different types of art, like chemicals and stuff to produce everything. Everything you'll produce, like for instance, we'll be using our manure from our organically fed cows, right? We'll be using that manure to fertilize our crops and stuff, right? So we, we start reusing all that stuff. And uh, if I wanted to, for example, I could say, hey, let's do grass seed. So I would wanna grow my own grass. And then from that, it would say, okay, well, uh, excuse me, sir, you don't have the equipment to do this, right? Which is what it's saying. And then I would have to go, okay, why don't I? And then I go to this more tab and it's gonna show me a couple of things. First thing it shows me is sort of like the general details about the field, including up here, right? We see its general health, how much water it has, all that stuff. Um, and then also it's gonna show me the reason why it's not working. In this case, there's no machines. It doesn't have the tractor and it doesn't have the plow. It's currently at the plow stage, the first stage where we have to plow the fields, right? And so I need enough equipment to be able to do that. So these are all the different things I need to manage this one little grass field. I need a Riga tractor. I need this lily plow. Eventually I'm gonna need this cultivator. There's manure spreaders uh, because I'm doing organic. I need to spread manure, right? We have seed drills. We have trailers with water for watering this. We have sprayers, mowers, a wind rower, and then finally the self-loading trailer to load up all the grass as you drive by it and stuff. Um, so you need all of these, all of this equipment to be able to do this. So if we were to do another another video, and if you want to see more, let me know in the in the, in the comments. Uh, if we were to do another one, we would want to set up. Basically, we have to buy all that equipment and get them going with that. So that's probably where I would go next is starting to expand what we're actually farming for the fields over here on this side so that we can sustain more animals on this side. I think that's how I would probably do it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate you guys watching these vids and any support you give to them is also very, very, very cool. If you'd like to learn more about certain things you can do with this channel, you can join our Discord server. Link is down below. We look forward to seeing you there too. Take it easy. Bye-bye.